Hello there, Gemini. Thank you for stopping by for your tarot video forecast for the week of July 27th through August 2nd. I am using the Russian Tarot of St. Petersburg once again. And so what we have coming up for you guys on Monday, Gemini, you have the Four of Cups. This is telling me that many of you Geminis will be experiencing a pity party on Monday. Stop that. <laughs> Pity parties don't do anybody any good, and the beautiful thing about if you see this before Monday is that you have a little bit of a heads up that that kind of energy may be coming in on Monday, and so you can kind of ward it off at the pass if you choose to do so. Now, if you look at this card, when we're talking about a pity party, you see how the guy has the three cups in front of him, and he's really paying attention to those, um, But and in many cards it actually depicts these cups as being spilled. Um, so disappointment or why me type attitude going on here. But you also see this fourth cup being offered out of the clouds or out of the um, out of the ether, out of um, spiritual places. So there's there's there are full amount of resources there that you can use, but you just have to pay attention. And so that's the thing about a pity party. Really, it's a great depiction because with a pity party, we're so busy going why me, poor me, oh man, life just is terrible, blah, 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 that we kind of forget to raise our eyes and go, oh, look, there's a beautiful rainbow up there in the sky. Oh, look, there's this opportunity over here. Oh, look, there's that opportunity over there. We're too busy going, poor me, poor me, poor me, to notice those opportunities. So um, you, there really is, I hate to say this, because we feel really justified when we have a pity party, and trust me, I've had them, and I'm sure I'm not done having them, um, but there really is no reason to have them because they rob us <laughs> of looking at what could be going on positive in our life. So um, that's the card for Monday. And then for Tuesday what we have coming up is we have the Three of Swords in Reverse. Now Three of Swords in Reverse is just telling me that on Tuesday there's something going on that's very healing for you emotionally. And for some of you, this is going to be literally, but this is about healing for the heart or healing for the emotions. I have seen this card come up in physical instances. So this could be something where you literally um, start eating right, uh, eating more health conscious for your heart. This could be some kind of new therapy that you have to strengthen some kind of heart ailment that you may have. Um, but for most of you, I feel like this is going to be more on an emotional um, level and this is something that is coming along that's healing some emotions. So um, this could be, you know, having a communication with somebody who maybe said something that insulted you or offended you or hurt you. Um, this could also be doing some things to find some release for yourself. Maybe you've been carrying around some old negative emotions and you're finally releasing them um, for yourself on Tuesday. Maybe you're getting some kind of closure on a situation that needs to have closure. A lot of things that can happen that can really give us some healing for the heart area. And that's what I see going on for you guys on Tuesday. Now let's see, Gemini's on Wednesday. What you have coming up is you have the Six of Coins. Six of Coins just means that on Wednesday you're going to be asking somebody for help. Now, this can be financial. It is a Coins card, so it could definitely be financial. But it doesn't have to be limited to that. You could also be asking for somebody somebody for some help with a project that you're working on. Or you could be really needing somebody who can just listen to you as you talk about a situation that you're going through. So there's all kinds of different versions of help out there. And this just talks about you asking for help on Wednesday. Now on Thursday, what we have coming up is we have the Nine of Coins. And with the Nine of Coins on Thursday, this really has a lot to do with how you feel about your life and your lifestyle. So how you're running your life. And the Nine of Coins is telling me that you're feeling pretty good about how you're running your life right now. Um, now, of course, we all pretty much always have things that we want to improve or get better or build upon. So I'm not saying that you're at this point where you've reached the apex <laughs> of life and now anywhere you go from here is down. But I am talking about being in a pretty good place, and especially for most of you when you look back at where you were a year or two ago, and consider what's happened to you since then, you feel like you've done pretty good with the situations that you've been in, and with handling things, and getting yourself moving forward, and keep on with keeping on with forward progress. Okay, so that's Thursday. And then Friday, wow, I've only done 
For the third sign so far, and this is the second time this has already come up, Friday we've got the Hanged Man. And the Hanged Man is just telling me, and this is actually a reversed Hanged Man, last time it was right side up. So you've got a Hanged Man reverse on Friday. So this is a good card. This is telling me that you had a situation that you were kind of stuck in. It was, you were kind of paralyzed in the situation because you didn't know the best way to handle it. And so you were kind of stuck in that situation. So um, whenever this comes up uh, upside down, what that means is that that situation, you've come to some kind of solution. You're seeing now how you can handle the situation in a nice productive way and move forward with it. And so that's a good card to come in. You get to move forward with the situation that you've been paralyzed with for a while. Now Saturday, not so happy with this card. This is a strength card in reverse. And basically what this means is that Saturday, Geminis, I feel like you're beating up on yourselves. Stop it. Just like with the pity party, stop it. <laughs> it doesn't do anybody any good for you to beat up on yourself. It doesn't do yourself any good or anybody around you any good. So usually, too, when we're beating up on ourselves, a lot of times we're taking um, account for, we're trying to hold ourselves accountable for something that really was not so much our doings. So you just want to be really careful and not be beating yourself up on Saturday. If you start to notice that, that kind of energy coming in, just chase it away. <laughs> You're worthy. <laughs> you are skilled. You are talented. You're beautiful. Whatever it is that you need to remind yourself of about yourself, go ahead and bring that whole out. Bring out, bring out all of that arsenal so that you're not beating yourself up because beating yourself up is never a productive way to spend a day. Now Sunday, we have the Two of Cups showing up in reverse. This is just telling me that there's some relationship in your life. can be a romantic relationship, but it also could be a family relationship, a friendship, or a business relationship. But there's some relationship in your life, Gemini, on Sunday that is not going as well as you would like it to go. Okay? So that is your week on... I almost said that's your week on Sunday. That is your week, Gemini. Thank you so much for coming by, hanging out, and watching. Thank you all for all the shares and the subscribes and the likes. I really do appreciate it. For those of you who would like to schedule a private session with me, feel free to check out my website. I'm at amista.info. I think I just said that. If not, just scroll down and you can see it in the description. Um, let's see, once you've poked around there a little bit, if you still feel like I'm the best reader for you, then go ahead and contact me and we will schedule a session for you as quickly as possible. Right now, on my wait list, I can probably get you in the same day that you contact me or the next day. So, let's see. Thank you everybody for stopping by. Everyone have a great week. I'll see you next week. Peace out.